Haiti's long-term reconstruction will take years and cost billions of dollars. The 7.0 magnitude quake that struck in January killed more than 230,000 people and left more than a million others homeless in a nation where most citizens were already living in deep poverty. On Wednesday, Haitian President René Préval will present the international community with his government's needs and its plan for recovery and reconstruction. He's co-hosting the meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Mr. Bond has said the focus is now beginning to shift from the emergency aid to longer-term reconstruction. I hope that this International Donors Conference on March 31st will be a crucially important momentum where international community uh, expressed their strong solidarity and support for Haitian government and people through very generous financial support. The United States and several other countries have already expressed their intention to help. President Barack Obama has asked Congress for $2.8 billion to help Haiti. Last week, the Inter-American Development Bank forgave nearly a half billion dollars of Haiti's foreign debt. The UN Development Program is in the lead on the donors' conference from the UN side. Jordan Ryan is UNDP's Director of Crisis Prevention and Recovery. He says the hope is that the pledging conference will raise the funds necessary for the first two to three years of reconstruction. We do hope that we'll um, find a, uh, resources in the range of three and a half billion dollars, maybe a bit more, um, that would be able to get the early reconstruction underway. And there is plenty to do. A top priority is building transitional shelters for Haiti's more than one million homeless. Funds are also needed for rebuilding the country's heavy infrastructure, its schools and hospitals. Haiti's government will have the ultimate responsibility for overseeing those plans, but it will work closely with international partners including the United Nations, the United States and international financial institutions. The international community is working closely with the Haitians in developing what might be an interim development commission. Uh, there's talk now, and I think it will be announced at the conference, of the engagement of uh, former President Clinton as the UN special envoy to work shoulder to shoulder with uh, the Haitian president and prime minister uh, in that commission. Mr. Clinton, along with former President George W. Bush, most recently visited Haiti last week. Mr. Clinton stressed the importance of involving a wide range of people and organizations in the reconstruction. The diaspora, the NGOs, all the people who have been moved by the earthquake and want to continue their involvement, and the private investment community. We have to get them all going in the same direction, and we're going to try to do that. Those groups will have representatives at the donors' conference who will give their assessment of what is needed for the reconstruction effort. The money the conference hopes to raise is in addition to the $1.4 billion the UN appealed for earlier this year to meet emergency humanitarian needs. Only about half those funds have been pledged. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations.